put her in the... Who, is, who does even care about that in that situation? Well, hello there and welcome back, my lovelies. I am once again Visual Pony and welcome back to The Walking Dead Season 2, Episode 4. After redoing Episode 3, I am sincerely disappointed, especially since you saw that I did not cut off Sarita's arm. Now, full disclosure here, if I'm acting a little bit strange in this video, that is completely to be expected. Because just today I returned from hospital, and I'm already recording content for you guys again. I am in a severe amount of pain, and under a lot of painkillers. But, as an old saying says, the show must go on. Also, I want to know how this continues. I could have played this on my laptop that I did in fact take with me to the hospital, but for some reason that laptop is overheating a lot when I do 3D on it recently, so I think I have to replace the thermal paste. Also, the safe state didn't sync with the cloud, so it ended up I would have had to start all over. Anyhow, let's start episode 4. I'm excited. Are you excited? I'm totally excited. Even though I am in pain. <laughs> I want to see how this... You know, I'm also playing this now to distract myself. How am I supposed to raise a child? I wasn't truthful when I came across y'all at the lodge. Now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. No! No! Stop me! <laughs> Kenny! Kenny! <sighs> when you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. Huh, there are brackets that don't belong there. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. No one proofreads these texts. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. Yeah, Clementine is hardened in my playthrough. I don't know if that matters, because as we saw, my choices don't really matter much. Now, let's see what happens here. Does she kill the walker, or does she cut the arm off? Because we did kill the... It doesn't show. We did kill the walker. In the first try, admittingly, we did cut her arm off. Okay, that sounded like an arm cut. Yep, arm cut off. That's not what I did. That is not what I did. That is quite not literally. I have video proof that this is not what I did. See, and that is what I mean. That is what I mean. We didn't do it. You know what? I will go back. I will, I will play episode 3 again. But I will not record it. I will do it off screen. I will be right back, basically. And let's hope that the game this time remembers my decision. 
because I didn't do this. I did not do this. It will now cost me about an hour to redo all of it. Gosh darn it! Okay, here I am once again, everyone. And I've got dire news. So I went back all the way to episode 2. Because I was like, hey, while I'm at it, while I'm retconning stuff, I can, you know, save Alvin. And guess what? At the end of episode 2, he's shown tied up in Carver's camp. And then I started episode 3. And Rebecca tells me how you helped Alvin. So the same as when Carver shot him and he's not in the truck. Meaning, yeah, Alvin's dead. So I'm like, what the actual fuck? For about an hour now, I have tried to cheese the whole thing and be like, okay, let's cheat. Let's find a safe game editor and um, edit this safe. And apparently Telltale did at one point uh, offer a safe game editor on their website for the Walking Dead games. That sub page on their website is now down and they have removed that safe game editor. So while previously I was giving a definite buying recommendation for this, for the definitive edition of this game, I can no longer do so. Because if I wanted to change my choices in episode 2, I would have to replay episode 1 with a new save file. If I wanted to redo my choices in episode 3, in just this one choice with Sarita's arm, I would have to replay episode 1 and 2 in a new save file. I'm not gonna do that. Also, as you can see here, it says start episode 3, not restart episode 3, because I replayed episode 2. But as you can see, and I will show you this, if I go to my choices, the choices for episode 3 are still here. It didn't clear it. It didn't. Also, I did a few things in episode 2 differently. For example, when Nick was sitting in front of that cabin, I actually talked to him and gave him that golden watch that we found in the, in the, in the lodge. Uh, in the cabin. It belonged to Pete, apparently. And that really helped Nick and he was grateful for that and it improved the relationship between Clementine and Nick. And all of that, gone. About uh, one and a half hour, just for shit, because this game does not do the simplest thing. It, it, it's a simple line of code, you know? If I say restart episode, then the string of variables associated with the choices of those of that episode because let's let's face it it's all just code you know um, and every choice clearly just has a number assigned to it so let's say Serena's arm is a one or a two one being chopping her arm off and two being that you didn't chop her arm off and killed the walker and zero being you haven't made the choice yet. So I don't do a lot of coding. I have when I was way younger, about 20 years ago. But even I know that that would be as simple as putting in something like if user if dot user click and then the name of the um, the field that this button is named as um, then 
and then you list off the variables, like say A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then you say equals zero. This is a simple line of code that could fix this. A simple equal zero. But apparently, they were too lazy to program that in. And since in the definitive edition, and I have only recently learned that, you are unable to rewind an episode, meaning you can no longer go back a little bit to redo a choice, which was apparently a thing in the original releases of this game, of these games. Um, I cannot redo it unless I replay the entire freaking thing, and I'm not gonna do that. I have now opened a, a thread in their Steam forum, actually, and there are loads of people complaining about stuff, especially about the re rewind function being removed. So, we will now start from episode 4, with the reader's arm cut off. I am more than a little bit annoyed at, uh, at that, but it is the only thing that I can do. Previously on The Walking Dead. I can't even take care of myself. How am I supposed to raise See, even here, Alvin isn't here. I wasn't truthful. When I came across y'all at the lodge, now folks are dead, and I can't help but feel I'm to blame. <laughs> Fucker. See, he isn't here in the crowd, no! nowhere. He's nowhere to be seen. No! Stop me! Kenny! Kenny! When you cover yourself in their smell, rub the walker guts all over you. Neither is he here. Them. You just have to keep calm and make sure you're good and covered. So, in other words, he's just gone. Go on. You don't need to see this. I'm not going anywhere. I even off-screen played a version where Clementine didn't watch him kill um, Bill. And still... So I'm going to be an asshole right now. I'm gonna axe Sarita. I'm going to tell you that right now. I'm gonna axe her. Or will I? I really want to be the asshole here right now. Because I'm in a tremendous amount of pain, my painkillers are letting up, and I have just spent about four hours of my life. She was bit. I had to do it. Fucking dare you, Clementine! Isn't gonna go like this. Kenny! I won't be left alone again. We're gonna get out of this. Kenny! I don't care what these fuckers are saying. You're gonna be fine. She's going to turn. You can't save no. her. Please, Kenny. No, no, no. Please, don't let her kill you. She's gonna turn, man. Kill her. No! Kenny will remember that, and I know he will. He will now hate Clementine. What did you do? What the hell is going on? Why? 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 She won't suffer now. We have to go. Stop it, fucking kid! Kenny! Damn it, man! Come on! on your head, Clementine! I really? I tried to save her. I really did. I have video proof. That popped up so quick at 
But yeah, sorry, this is just really annoying me right now. And I think you can understand why. Approximately four hours of my life for shit. For some lazy programmer not putting in a simple line of code. Good girl, Clementine. Don't go to back to that groups. They're fucking assholes. Keep quiet. Need to keep moving. Yeah, uh, not so easy. There was an opening. I tried to click on it and it wouldn't let me. Again with this bullshit. Seriously, guys, before anyone says in the comments down below that I don't like this game and that I'm just raging because I'm in pain right now, that's only half true. I love this game. Yes, I'm raging because I'm in a tremendous amount of pain. But also, you see this, right? Also the whole thing with the safe games. It would be such an easy fix. I won't abandon Rebecca, because she might stand up to Kenny for me. Yes, I do. There it is. See, that's what I tried to click on the entire time. to make sure that Rebecca gets through this alive. Damn it. We'll have to push through that cluster of blockers. There's too many. We'll make a cow catcher. Just what we need. Okay, just tell me what to do. There. That one looks light enough to carry. I'm gonna get on the far side of her. I need you to get her attention. Okay, get a walker's attention. That shouldn't be that hard. Not gonna bite anybody now, are ya? Follow me. 
Huh. Stay close. That's actually if pretty smart. Behind, I can't come back for you. That's really smart. Let's go. Yep, Kenny will hate my guts and he will likely try to kill me. Despite our history together. And here I wanted to stay with Kenny. I really did. Is everything all right? No, I'm not all right. But I'll be a lot better once we get with the others. I need to make sure everyone else made it out. Luke, Sarah, Kenny. God damn it. What if they aren't there? Mm hmm. Nothing we can do about it. Kenny's gonna kill me. Say things like that. Fine. Sorry. Jesus. I don't even know if we're safe. What if the herd is still following us? We're fine. It's been quiet, but who knows? We'll watch out for each other. So long as we keep up a good pace. I know, I know. Just, I'm going as fast as I can. Mm-hmm. You have your baby. I know I should feel glad that we escaped. But I just can't stop thinking about the others. It was stupid. What was? Escaping? Look, I know we all agreed to use the herd to get out. But maybe we should have been more patient. Come up with something better. It worked! If you can call that working, we could have... I don't know. The plan worked. We got out of there. Most of us. Look, I know that some of your people didn't make it, but Carver was crazy. Stay I have to agree. Prolong the inevitable. I'm just saying that if people hadn't panicked, things might have turned out better. Of course. We panicked. We were scared. The plan was good. The execution was the messy part. That I have to agree with Jane. You're saying it was their fault. What? No. No, that's not what I'm saying. Just... <sighs> She's going into labor. I have to stop. I'm sorry. I don't want to slow us down. Can I just have a minute? Uh, yeah. Take a minute. Thank you. <laughs> She's lost her husband. That I tried to save. Alvin was supposed to be here for this. Is Alvin? He's dead, is what he is. Thanks to that fucking madman back there. Kenny might know what to do. He had a family. Let's hope he made it to the meetup point then. He's gonna kill me. What are you going to do with it? What do you mean by that? Uh, sorry. Just making conversation. It was nothing. No. What do you mean by that? Do with what? My baby? I'm just looking at the worst case scenario. You and Clem won't be able to raise a baby by yourselves. Not out here. I just mean it's going to need food and, you know, other stuff. Guys, that baby is coming, like it or not. Fine. And then what? It's going to be helpless, and you can't protect it. And you assume you won't be capable of it. Just because you're some angry loner who doesn't care about anyone but herself doesn't mean you know better than me. Hey, I've seen it before. Back when it started, me and my sister, we what? were... She died? I don't need you. Yeah. Baby. You don't... You don't have the right... Jane! Shit, I didn't mean it. Shit. She didn't mean it. Right? Oh, damn it. We can't just sit here doing nothing. I know, I know. 
They'll be here soon. Holy Can he boned? It had been so long. We were starting to worry no one else would make it. Well, besides. How's Kenny? I tried to talk to Kenny. He flipped out on me. He started yelling. Scary shit. I know. He probably didn't mean it. But it was scary. Yep, he's gonna shoot Clementine. I've been nervous to even go near him. What? You think he's gonna shoot you? The way he is right now? I don't know. Maybe. He's not acting rationally. I've seen Kenny like this before. You think he'll, I don't know, snap out of it? Mm-mm. I think so. Eventually. Clem, I was thinking now that you're here, maybe you could go talk to him. <laughs> He's gonna kill me. Okay. He's gonna kill me. Sarita, wherever you are, please forgive me. I can't be alone again. Hi, Kenny. Yeah. He is angry. You think I don't know what y'all are whispering about over there? What's wrong with Kenny? Why is Kenny acting that way? Do you think Kenny's okay? It's all I hear from anyone anymore. I'm just worried, worried about you. Worried, huh? Well, that's nice of you, seeing as this was your fault in the first place. There was nothing I could do. Seeing how things turned out, I think I might have preferred if you do nothing. I tried to save her. You think because you're a little girl, you can just get people killed and no one will care? That because you're sorry, it'll all magically go away? That's not how it works. Yeah. Kenny put away the gun. Not for the last time. Just get the fuck out of here and leave me alone. I'm going crazy just sitting here not doing anything. Just give it time, Mike. It's still early. <clears throat> Clem, how'd it go? Nope. And he's really mad at me. Clem, you can't just expect him to bounce back. That man's going through. At least you try. Still, doesn't exactly help us figure out what we're gonna do now. We got no food, no water. It's getting damn cold, and we're losing daylight fast. Yeah. When the others get back, they'll know what to do. Luke will have a plan. We thought Kenny would have a plan. Mike, honey. Mike's got a point. You can't just keep sitting around waiting. Things are difficult enough right now, and soon you'll have a baby on your hands, too. What? Suddenly you're pretending to be concerned? We Rebecca should keep needs moving. needs a safe, warm place to have her baby. Maybe we should keep moving and find one. You can rest for a few minutes. Me and Clem will scout ahead and double back. Just make sure you're ready to move when we get here. <sighs> Kenny might snap. I really didn't want to kill Sarita. I really didn't want to kill Sarita. And you better believe there will be a playthrough where I do replay every fucking episode. Got this. You don't think I'd need to? I don't know. But you better keep that close. Come on, Clem. And where will retcon this? If you guys are interested in me, uh, in seeing me do that, let me know in the comments down below. Because otherwise, I'll just do it on my own time. Look, I'm gonna level with you. There's no real point in scouting ahead, and you should know that finding your friends—that's a shot in the dark. I don't know about that. 
We shouldn't give up before we've even looked. Okay, but I wanted to talk to you, away from them. You wouldn't have made it this far if you weren't smart, but I still... I just gotta warn you. That group is cracking. I've seen it before. And, well... So have I. A lot of times, it's better to be on your own. I know you see what I'm talking about. You don't want to be here when they start burning on each other. They're not bad people. But there have been problems before. I don't always agree with what they say or do. Neither do I. Look at Kenny. I don't even know where to begin with what a liability he is. And Rebecca's situation is not making things better back there. You get enough broken people together, and all you're gonna get are broken decisions. Rebecca's just worried about her baby. I mean, wouldn't you be? I wouldn't bring a kid into this world. Well, then keep your legs like closed. You said, it's her baby, not mine or yours. For what it's worth, I like most of the people in your crew, but groups fall apart. People get killed. Because I think in this world, then the, why did you bring me with you? The contraceptive you the uh, you industry, need, you know. If you wanna. Like your jacket. It looks warm, but a walker will bite right through that. My sister Jamie had a good leather one. Wish I still had it. You could have. No. I don't think that there are a lot of contraceptives in this world. What what happened to your sister? <laughs> Seems we always want to talk about the end. Don't we? Kinda. You know, being a big sister is, well, it's funny. It's really easy to be mean. Oh? You know, hide her toys, make fun of her bad haircut, give her the bad haircut on purpose. I mean, I did put the gum there. I figured I should get it out. Is that really what it's like having a sister? No, no. It's not all bad, but what could I do? She thought I was her best friend. I couldn't go unpunished. <laughs> Every summer we'd go to this amusement park in Virginia. But the best part wasn't the rides. It was that nobody knew us there, and I'd I'd pretend we weren't sisters. Just hmm. friends. <clears throat> That can actually be very nice. I know the problem. I have an elder sister. Jackpot. Actually, two, but I don't want to get into that right now. But these walkers got some good stuff. Yeah, we should check them out. But you know why, right? Only because they're fresh. Take a look. Old walkers are a waste of time. They're holding credit cards and busted old pagers. But these pagers. weren't walkers all that long ago. They were survivors. They might have useful stuff. That one's not coming back. See what else he's got. I'll check this one. Okay, let's see. Ammo. Hold on to him. Ammo's getting hard to come by, and things aren't going to get better. Hmm. Find anything? Driver's licenses. Two of them. Well, I guess some people just can't leave the past behind. And what's in the last pocket? What do you have, my little piñata? Smart haircut. Thanks. Lee so, taught me that. Has your crew always been so dysfunctional? You fit in there, but you weren't like them. It makes me wonder. I was with a different group before. That one worked better, I think. That was when I got my haircut like this. And Kenny was part of that group. That's it. nail file. These things are great. Sharpen a blade, strike a flint. Jamie always had one in her purse. 
could jab my hand when I went reaching in. <sighs> the thing is, they can also be good weapons because they are freaking sharp. Now, well, not sharp, but pointy. You never be too sure with these things. And Here, use enough one. force, and you can definitely fuck someone up with it. Believe me. <laughs> Not that I've ever tried. But I might have been on the these receiving glasses. end. They're Sarah's. Looks like your friend didn't make it. Sorry. I don't know what to tell you. All we know is that she was here. It could be a good sign. Don't go getting your hopes up. Look, Clem, I know what you want me to say, but... Yeah! Sarah! God damn it. Shit. Okay, come on. We gotta find a way in. Looks like there's an opening over there. Well, let's go and check. Oh no. Nick. It's Nick. Look, he's your friend. You should do this. I'm doing you a favor here, Nick. Come on, Clem. You can do better. Yep. Now he ain't moving no more. Luke or Sarah or anybody needs to be put down. You gotta be ready for it. No hesitation. I know. I've done this before. That hatchet of yours seems to get stuck pretty easily. It's gonna get you killed. Here, use this. Yep, an ice pick. We can do this. Well, made, uh, well, I in this safe, I never gave him the, the gold watch, so I should still have it. They don't sound too good. Clock is ticking. I'm ready. I know you are. We need to get a better look. That shouldn't be so hard. How about you get the close one, and I'll hop the fence to get the other. Go for it. Come on. I did... I had my cursor. You saw it. It was literally right there. How about you get the close one and I'll hop the fence to get the other. What the fuck? Go for it. This game is a buggy mess. Now it Now it works. Nice work. You know what you're doing. Now watch this. You saw it, just rewind the recording you and you will see. To your arsenal. Pick out the knees first. Then put a knife in the back of its head when it's down. Alright, let's get a look at what we've got on deck. Glad you're paying attention. Well, I am learning fast. Yeah, most of these guys are gonna have nothing on them. But it's worth taking a look when it's not too risky. What are you 
I think we can take some out relatively easily. It's only two of them, and we are two, so... Wait. We don't want to make any noise until we've dealt with those guys. Is there anything else in the cab? You know, I would just release the handbrake and um, and then you did the knee thing. Nice trick, huh? You know. Seriously, I need some stronger painkillers, guys. They look worked up about something. And what gets the interest of the dead? People. The living. How do we get in? If we can make enough noise on this side, we can lure those walkers over here. Then we might just be able to go through that other trailer and get to your friends. What do you think of that? I mean, I'm just making it up as I go along. If you think that's best, I'm with you. Good. What's going to grab their attention? I know. I got you covered. That won't grab their attention. Yeah, it does look pretty strong. One of these guys must have the keys. What are you thinking? If we lean him on the horn, it'll keep honking and draw the walkers. Just like moths to a flame. Give me a hand. Will do, girl. In a way, I like Jane, but I don't like her approach on the whole survivor thingy. There they come. It's working. Come on. Hmm. Careful, Clem. Gotta move it. He wasn't dead. It's locked. Then try something else. Hey, are you guys in there? I don't think that's getting through to them. I'll hold them off. Just get us in there. Seriously, Luke. Help me block this. Hurry. Sir, please. Who's out there? Luke. Clem? Oh, thank God. You asshole. He made a run for it. Looking for help. I I saw him outside. Look, he was out there, but we took care of him. You know. Fuck. Fuck. And I heard y'all banging through the door. Luke, where's Sarah? I... I don't know what to do about her. What's the matter? She got bit. You gotta help. Sarah, look. Look, it's Clem. See, it's just like I told you. That they're okay. Sarah, come on. We... We have to go now. Was she bitten? Did they get her? No, she ain't bit. She's just... 
Yeah. I don't know what to do. I can't snap her out of it. Okay, I tried to carry her, but I, I guess Carver messed me up pretty good back there. I don't know. It was just after Carlos, she just lost it. Started running through the woods like a maniac. I, I chased her for I don't know how long, and then while well, she saw this mobile home made a beeline right for her. I'm just glad y'all are here. We're not out of the woods yet. What are we gonna do about her? We gotta do something. Maybe she'll listen to me. Maybe. She's my friend, listen, after all. I, uh... They're gonna tear this place open pretty soon. We can't stay. So, we, we gotta get her up, or, or we gotta... Well, I've been trying. I've been trying for hours. I can barely get her to look at me. Clown? Hagar. Sarah, it's me. Hi. No! <laughs> Shit. Just hug her. Maybe it seems like you're all alone right now, but you're not. Yes, I am. What about Luke and Jane and me? We came here because of you. All of us in the group. We're your family now. <laughs> yep. Crap, we're surrounded. What? What about the skylight? Oh, we got. Clem, there's no time. Clem. Listen, Jane might be right. When everything started, I met my friend Lee. He tried to help me find my parents. He protected me more than anyone else in my whole life. He died to keep me safe. I was so scared. Mm-hmm. But you're still here. Yes, she is because, because she's freaking strong. strong. Even when I'm scared. Because he wanted me to live. And your dad protected you because he wanted you to live. He would still want that. Yes, give her her glasses. Get to the skylight, now! Come on, I'll boost you. What's going on back there? My ribs. We're gonna need something to stand on. Luke, get over here, help me hold this! Clem, see what you can find. The fridge. Forget it. That thing ain't budging. Find something else. Can we use this? It's not big enough. Uh... Can we use that? Yeah, that would work. What would work? Oh, shit. Yeah. Okay, ready? On three. One, two, three! Luke, put your back into it. I know your ribs are broken, but move it. Clem! Clem, help her! Help Jane! Okay, go! Go! Get... Keep pushing! Go! Jane, you better not die on me. I don't want to lose anyone else today. <coughs> Yes, I'm in a good deal of pain. Luke, you first. <sighs> we need you up top. Fox, it hurts. Fox, it hurts. Uh, 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 okay, come on. Clem. That doctor messed Sarah, me up we good. We have to go. Are you listening? I can't do it. Now, Clementine. If she doesn't want to go, you can't make her. Don't let her take you down too. Not again. I can't! Daddy! Don't make me leave you! Come on! Dying like this is stupid! You can't save her, Clem. We have to go! Believe me, I know about this. Hurry up! <gasps> oh, move! <laughs> 
Clementine! Grab her! I hope I didn't lose Jane because of that. We gotta go. Sarah. Come on! Sarah needed that slap. She didn't want a hug. So she got a slap. I really didn't want to do this, but it worked. Uh, uh, okay. Look, I hate to ask this, but are we there yet? <laughs> We're not far. Look, Sarah, you can get through this. We both will. But I'm not okay. Just try. Can you do that? She just needs a little time, Clem. Leave her be for a bit. I have a feeling she won't make it. At least not very long. About this. The way she is, she's gonna cause problems. What happened in there? When we went in there, you were ready to help, but then something changed. Look, I just... I'd seen that kind of thing before. I just didn't want to stick around for the bitter end. Sorry, I... I don't mean to sound harsh. Does that mean you'd turn on me if I was hurt or something? No. I mean... Clem. I wouldn't have to. And just because you got her out of there today, doesn't mean you saved her. Trust me. I tried to save Jamie too, but she gave up. Hey Luke, you okay? I know I've been a jerk to you, but I can't believe it. As soon as you guys said go, I was the first one up on the roof. Like I had already made up my mind. Luke, you can't let it eat away at you. Well, I can't forget it. I dragged my sister across four states. And every morning she'd say she wasn't getting up. So I'd convince her. Or push her. Or goddamn carry her if I had to. Until this time... Walkers cornered us. Forced us up to the roof. And, and when they kept coming, I... I couldn't make her jump. Couldn't throw her. So I tried something else. I told her she could have what she wanted, and I left her there. Jumped to the next building over by myself. You left your sister? Did she get turned? Do you know? When she didn't follow me over, I didn't have the guts to go back and see for myself. It killed me for a long time. But I finally realized that I'd put her on a forced march through hell, when all she really wanted was for me to let her go. Yeah. Sarah was that way too. Jane? No regard for her own safety. Or ours. Sarah and Jamie aren't the same person. We don't know if she'll end up like that. People don't change. Oh yes, they do. Come on. Let's get back to your friends. Seriously, guys, you wouldn't have liked me when I was in my early 20s. I was a really angry bastard. Nowadays, some people say that I'm the most caring person they've ever met. And I don't know why. Son of a bitch. You found him? Yeah, I'm a little amazed myself, to tell you the truth. If it weren't for Clem and Jane, well, I don't know what would have happened. Sarah, how you doing, hon? That's okay, sweetie. Whenever you're ready. I'm just glad you're here. But wait, wait. Where's Nick? <sighs> uh, Rebecca, how about we, uh, we go for a walk for a minute? Yep, he didn't Let's make it. Give him <clears throat> some space. I have something I need to talk to you about, too. <laughs> no. No. Let me guess, Kenny killed himself? I ain't gonna sugarcoat this. 
That baby's coming even faster than Rebecca's oh. letting on. But I was hoping you might know. Does Luke know anything about babies? Has he, I don't know, mentioned Carlos teaching him anything? Kenny had a family. He could help. Where is he? He's gone and killed himself. He went in there after he left. Said he needed a minute by himself. I ain't seen him since. I don't think he's doing well. Uh, I'll go in there. Thank you, Clem. I really do think that might be best. Uh, I don't think so, but yeah. And I have bullets. I can give him the bullets to shoot me. I wanted to check on you. Make sure you're okay. You know what it feels like to get beaten almost to death. Peaceful. It feels peaceful. It was like I was floating away, watching the whole thing happen to me. And then I woke up again, and nothing's changed. I'm still taking a beating. Every day. Duck. Katya. Sarita. No peace. No rest. The punches just keep coming. Why the hell couldn't Carver have just finished me off? Obviously, I ain't helping anyone by being here. That baby's almost here, and Rebecca needs your help. Yeah, I guess she does. And I do too. Now nah, don't worry yourself about this. It's nothing. Hadn't killed me yet anyway. It looks like it must hurt. Well? Oh shit, does that mean what I think it does? What are we supposed to do? We should see what's going on. Come on, Kenny, I know you're a good guy. I really like him. Are you okay? How does it feel? It feels wet. That's how it feels. What's going on? Rebecca's water broke. Mm. Oh, Christ. We should... I don't know what we should do. Oh, fuck. Well, what do we do? Kenny, thank God. I think the baby's coming. What do we do? All right, all right. Give me a second. No way can Rebecca trap her like this. He's right. She's gonna make a lot of noise. They'll be able to smell her too. What should we do first, Kenny? Kenny, come on, you gotta focus. Right, right, sorry. Clean water for one thing, and blankets. And we gotta get out Give him of something to focus to. on. That map shows a couple of buildings nearby. Maybe one of them could do the trick. The museum seems like it could be a good start. I'll go. Good idea. Mike, think you could go with her? Sure thing. I'll check the building by the river. Okay then. Kenny, you uh you stick with Rebecca, and I will check the perimeter for walkers. Hey, where did you get the AK all of a sudden? Sarah. Just stay here with Rebecca and Kenny, okay? Clem. I know it must have been hard, but thank you for talking to Kenny. I'd love for you to give me and Mac a hand looking at the museum, but I was thinking, how do we know Jane ain't just gonna take off? Maybe you should go with her. Make sure she comes back. What do you mean by that? You know, she doesn't seem to like being around people much. 
And she volunteered to head off awful fast. I guess it could be nothing. I trust Jane. Yeah. I mean, I would have never made it back without her. Just something to think about. I kind of want to help Luke. Okay, we're looking for warm blankets, clean water, disinfectant. That all sound right? Don't worry. I'll go with Mike and Bonnie. It's gonna be fine. I'll go with Mike and Bonnie. All right. Well, let's get going. All right, everyone. You know what to do. Let's be fast and let's be careful. And I'm sure Jane won't come back. I trust Bonnie now, to a degree, as far as I can throw her. I guess that's the place there. It's a wreck. And to be fair, I'm fairly strong. Just I could likely use. Walkers hanging around. Well, no way to find out until we go and check it out for ourselves. Maybe we can still find something. Yeah, maybe. Do the Walker guts trick. Sorry, I just really want sticking with y'all to work out, and it's been hard so far. How about you make it up to us by helping out with those walkers up there? Yeah, all right. Jane showed me a good way to attack them. If you take out a knee, they always fall. And then you can stab him in the back of the neck. Hmm. A good smack to the head's always done fine for me. Knee. That wasn't the knee. Dude. The knee is about halfway down the leg. Yeah, okay. Let's do this before more of them show up. Watch out for the broken glass. It's all over. Okay. Somebody's already been through here. Guess that's not a surprise. Still, might be something worthwhile left. Let's check it out. We need to look fast so we can get back to the others. Let's just make a sweep. I really don't want to go back empty-handed. Neither do I, to be quite honest with you. Keep one eye on the woods while we're in here. I don't want nothing sneaking up on us. I watch this side. Everything moving my back, just saying, ears, huh? hurts like a bitch. A keychain with your name on it? No. Why would I want a keychain? I don't even have any keys. Ah, oh, good point. Well, I would still take it. Because if you throw a keychain, then it makes noise. You think maybe they say that stuff about water and blankets just to get people out of the way? Empty. Oh, you don't know what the hell you're talking about. And you didn't have to come with me. No, I wanted to. Never mind. Hmm. I sure hope we can find something to take back. Me too. Can I maybe... Yeah, the game is kind of railroading me in terms of how I can move. That's something I that I don't like. I must Watch admit, that's a that's a part of this game series that I do not like. They railroad you how you can move. Any luck? No, not so much. Unless. Do you think these work? Nah, they're just for show. Be handy though. Also, really loud. Good point. Personally, in a zombie apocalypse, I'd get proficient with a bow and arrow. Hey, look at this. An old coat. Nice. Good find, Clem. You should hang on to that. It's gonna get a lot colder before it starts getting warmer. Do you want it? That's real sweet of you, Clem, but you should probably hang on to it for Rebecca. I guess you've already got that old coat I gave you. I feel so bad about everything that happened. Hopefully you won't always think of me like that. Not that I blame you if you did. I haven't always used the best judgment. You finally opened your eyes about Carver and what a bad person he was. That's something. Yeah. Clem found a jacket. That's great, but uh, isn't Gray the, you know, uh, we can't put Rebecca in a confederate coat. Oh, I didn't even think about that. Oh, come on! Put her in the... 
Who is who does even care about that in that situation? I mean, seriously. We would have loved this place. Yeah, because I Lee. I sure don't like being near a graveyard with the world the way it is now. Where are things are. Do you see anything good? Not so far, but let's give the place a good going over. I mean, it, would you rather freeze, or would you rather, you know, wear a confederate coat? And to be fair, I'm not too well versed in American history, but... <sighs> it has been how long? 200 years? 300? I don't know. Mmm, water. Over here. Water. Bottled and clean. That's just what we need. It's locked. You want to kick it down? That'd make an awful lot of noise. Yeah, maybe. You know, if somebody was small enough, they could maybe squeeze through that gap there. I could try to pry it open some more, but I don't know if that'll help much. All right, all right. I'll go. Thanks, Clem. Just open the door from the other side. Mike will carry those things out. Might be a bit heavy for you. <laughs> that look that Clem just gave her. <laughs> I'm stuck. Okay, maybe I push from... Don't tell me he was bit. Well, that happened. Jesus, Mary and Joseph. Guess I'm not quite as small as I used to be. But you're tough for your size. Shit. You're tough for my size. I'm sorry. <laughs> you're tough for me? I, I like him. At least now we got something to bring back. I'll keep checking the other room. Oh, Bonnie, be careful. Please. You are just redeeming yourself. Oh, are those walkies? See, that's one of those things where they don't want you to win. That looks pretty heavy. Uh, that's all right. I know it looks like a lot, but we could all go through this pretty quick. Carver was crazy, but at least his shelves were always full. You're right. I thought it looked like so much. That baby's going to be hard on everyone, especially Rebecca. And between you and me, she's not looking too good. Hey, guys. Come on, stay close. I just a raccoon. In like it owned the place. Figure it'd make a nice meal. We can eat raccoon? I'd eat the shit out of that raccoon. Not like... I mean, just just that I'd be really happy to eat that raccoon. I am starving. Fresh meat would go a long way with Rebecca. Yeah. Shoot! Don't let it get away! Over here! Oh! Oh! Shoot! Dang it! Not with the walkers out there. Hmm. I'm even hungrier than I was before. How'd I get to a place where I'm sad I'm not eating raccoon? Well, at least it was kind of fun. Yeah. Huh. I guess it was. Come on. Let's just get this back to Rebecca and the others. 
Yep. We don't have much time to waste. So who am I gonna give the Confederate code to? I mean, I could give it to Kenny. If we I'm consider the labor yet, Kenny. What if something's wrong? Nothing's wrong. Babies know how to be born. How long did your son take? How you doing, Beck? Okay. I'm okay. How did you guys make Museum's out? Museum's a bust. All glass walls shattered. It'd be impossible. And it was picked over pretty good. Lots of folks probably been there before us. A walker in there almost got us. Lucky Mike was there. Clem's the one who finished it off. Looks like you also found some water. We sure did. Mm-hmm. Good. Good. We save all of that for Rebecca. Anybody else gets a thirst, you can go to the river. Oh, Kenny. Hey, Clem. Glad you made it back safe. How are you feeling? Scared. And it hurts. <laughs> I wish Alvin was here. Alvin would be really proud of you right now. You think so? Yes. I hope you're right. I know it's a waste of time, but I can't stop thinking about things I should have said to him. Things I should have talked to him about. Oh, yeah. How am I ever going to do this without him? We'll all help you keep the baby safe. Oh, yeah? You're a good kid, Clementine. I'm glad you'll be there to watch out for this baby. <laughs> oh, oh, shit. I got this. I'm worried that we ain't seen Jane in a while. Go check well, on her, would you? She's run off. I'll be fine. Jane's gone. That is what I am predicting. Oh, wait, there is something else there. Talk to Sarah. Hey, Sarah. You know, Rebecca's starting. They were going to leave me, weren't they? Of course not. Luke tried really hard to get you to come with him. How come you didn't leave me? Because we're friends. I could never be that good of a friend. I just want my dad. I know. When and I just want Lee. When he gets here, we should all go back to the cabin. We're safe there. Sarah. Your dad, you know he isn't coming, right? Sarah? Hey, I think that's all she can take for now. She'll be alright. <sighs> I really feel bad for Sarah. I would have really liked to save Carlos. Clementine, up here. No. Ah. Apparently my prediction was wrong. Oh, hey. Museum was a bust, huh? We found water. A lot of it. Well, that's something, at least. Check this out. This gate's still locked. Which means that hopefully no one's gotten to whatever was locked in there in the first place. I've been trying to get it open, but it's locked pretty tight. Can't see what's inside. That could be a place for Rebecca to have the baby. Yeah, that's what I was thinking. Hmm, maybe I can pick the lock. The nail file? Versatility is not overrated. 
That is actually true. You can do a lot with a nail file, but you know, picking a uh, lock. It wouldn't hurt to try a heavier hand with this thing. See if you can find something bigger. We might need to bust the mechanism. Well, here is something bigger. There were more cannons in the museum. Mike said they're just for show. They fill them with cement, so they're safe. Oh. Oh. I was about to say, put some gunpowder in it, and you know. I guess it's broken. No, you need a quarter. That's something that Lee found out in Savannah. You know, while you were looking for your parents. No, not even trash. Oh, when will it end, this cruel, cruel war? Oh, Civil War, 1863. So, roughly 200 years. So it wasn't that long ago. Huh. The Battle of Parker's Run. Ow! Shit! Are you okay? Yeah. Oh, I think I almost had it. Keep looking. If I had my hammer... There's some buildings across the river. I think I can see a church. The nearest river crossing is miles up. Rebecca wouldn't make it in her condition. Keep it in mind. Though. Jane, there's someone coming toward us. Shit, shit, shit. He's coming this way. And who knows if he has friends nearby. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around, so... Should we run for it? Normally, I would. But it's too much of a risk. I can't lead him to the others. But we should scope him out and see what he's up to. I don't like having some stranger sneaking around so close to the others. Also, he seems hurt. We've got enough on our plates with a baby coming. I'll distract him so you can sneak up behind him. Good call. Shit. Hide now. Okay. I just want to talk to you. Do you understand me? Yes. Would you mind putting that gun down? I'm going to go. I don't want to shoot. I don't want to shoot anyone. Especially Malinka Devochka. Uh, little girl. You don't have to shoot anyone. Just put the gun down. <sighs> Back up. Put the bag down. Clem, make sure he doesn't have any other weapons in there. I have a feeling he's gonna attack me. No, I have no more guns. I swear to you. Anything? Oxycodone? Whoa. That's a serious stash of meds. No, 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 no. Take whatever you want, but don't take the medicine. It's for my sister. My older sister, she's sick. The pain makes her cry and that makes those things come. Please. Is it just you and your sister? No, I have many friends in the woods. Sister or not, we could really use that stuff. No, you are not nice people. You have already left me defenseless, and now you, you take my sister's medicine? You are worried. Hey, we've got people who are suffering, who need this medicine. 
Luke's still a wreck after Carver's. Kenny's a mess. Rebecca's in pain. Look at all of it. Clementine, we need People that stuff. People are suffering just as much as yours. You are not special. Clementine, yes, you must... I will not steal. You're not taking them. I'm not robbing anybody. Just let him go. Oh, Portia. Thank you, Clementine. Thank you. <laughs> oh, what are you doing? You don't have to do this. Jane, don't do it. Don't you ever come around here again. I don't care if you do have some sick sister. The next time I see you, you won't just be walking away. Go. At least give him his gun back. Can't believe I've gotten into this mess. Well, now we have Can something. Some stupid kid. I thought we were just going to talk to him. I needed to make sure he didn't come back here again. Go get the others. I'm going to get this place opened. Then we need to get moved in ASAP. I would have to agree with most of what you're saying. I really hope, Arvo, that this doesn't bite me in the butt. Clem! Clem, hey! Any luck with that observation, Dick? I was just checking on Rebecca and Kenny. They said they hadn't heard from me in a while. I don't guess there'd be much, but Jane seems pretty resourceful. Jane and I were trying to open the gift shop and a stranger showed up. What? Shit. This is the last thing we need right now. Jane took his gun and scared him off. Well, I, uh, I'm glad you're okay. Is Jane still up there now? Yeah, she's trying to get the gift shop open. Well? I can't figure her out. I mean, she really lays it on the line, but at the same time, she doesn't show you anything that counts. I like her. She's honest. And she knows what she's doing. Yep. That's more than I can say for some. Hey! Jane seems like the kind of person who gets tempered by hardship, you know? But when I look at Kenny now, he just... He seems broken. Broken people get reckless. I know you got a history with him. Look, I think he's a good guy. At least started as a good guy. You're wrong. Kenny's stronger than anyone. He tries to protect us. I don't know, Clem. I used to think that... Maybe all the horror hadn't gotten to you yet. But you watched your friend murder Carver. Not just kill him, but... Clem, you didn't even blink. Kenny did go too far. It made me uncomfortable. There's still hope for you then. I need to tell the others about the deck. Yeah, good. I will, uh... I'll see you back there. I have a feeling that Luke will become the new Lee. Oh, my back. Oh, I'm hurting real bad, guys. But don't you worry about me. The universe has failed to pluck this weed over and over. I'm not done yet. <gasps> shit, shit. Oh, God. Breathe like I told you. Okay, 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 okay. Oh God. Oh God. Oh no. Oh. Stop. Oh. Clem. Clementine. Shit. Walkers. How'd they get that close without anyone seeing them? That was Luke. Kenny, we've got to do something. You just keep that baby safe. Kenny, we can't stay here. The museum. It's our only choice. No, Jane and I found a place. I'll show you. Good. Someone help me up. 
Oh, God, there's so many. Mike, the water. On it. I'll go help Kenny. Sarah, let's go. Kenny, you're not going out in a bottle of glory, are you? Kenny, come with me. You're my new caretaker. At least I hope so. Luke seems a little unreliable and easy <laughs> on the give up part. That's about as human as I've felt in a long time. I almost forgot what Clementine. J Jesus, Clem, it's just not. Um, what's going on? Well, uh, I mean, you two at sex. Let's get you comfortable. What you two fuck? What are you two doing up here, Kenny? What's going on? We got God knows how many walkers out there, which you were supposed to be keeping an eye out for. Hey, hold on a sec. Just tell me what's going on. What's going on is you're a reckless fucking moron. I'm reckless. You know, you got a lot of nerve, Kenny. Rebecca's having the baby. Now? No! Fuck. I'm sorry. Shit. Right over Shit. here. Uh. They're coming up the stairs. Here. We should. You want to help. Get out there and keep the walkers off us. I'll do this. I've been here before. They can't rush us on the stairs. Shoot them before they get to us. I'm going I'll outside. help outside. I'll help hold them back. Go. I've got Rebecca. Here they come. Here. We can't let them up here. I've popped a few with one shot. There are oh, that's a big Shit. one. Keep shooting. They are not getting up here. Roll that cannon in front. Help us! We can block the gate with this. I'll help. I'm coming. Da 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 Go in, go in, go in, go in, go in, go in. Sarah, hang on! Fuck, fuck, hurry! I can't hold on! Help me! Clem! Come on! Jane! Save Sarah! Are you crazy? There's no way she's getting out of that. Pull me up! It's suicide! Just pull me up! We can't leave her without even trying! Just go! Clem grabs that freaking machete and jumps down. Help me, I'm trying. trying. You have to listen to me. Sorry, Clem. I tried. It just wasn't enough. I know, but I wish it could be different. Push! <sighs> They're climbing Sarah. up. Sarah. What? They're gonna make it up here. Fuck! Does this shit ever end? Well, we need to break the rest of the deck. She's right. She's right. Drop the whole deck. Drop the. Are you fucking crazy? How are we gonna do that? 
I don't know, just look around. Oh. Crap. Look! That'll work. We bust that, the whole thing comes down. Boost me. Oh wow. That sounded as if closer. something heavy dropped Clementine. down there. Move it! Come I mean, on. with my neighbors. Going as fast as I can. Watch it! Son of a bitch! Poor Sarah. See, and that is another choice where I would go back and <gasps> save Jane. Stillbirth. Ah, <laughs> oh, and he's alive! <laughs> or she. Well, someone disappeared there. <laughs> Did you see that? The model just disappeared <laughs> hey Clementine hey how's he doing I was a, it is a he's perfect who's a perfect little man who's the most perfect little man in the whole world he looks like Alvin. You think so? Definitely. Thank you. <coughs> I'm fine, I'm fine. I just wish I could get warm. Clem, why don't you give her that coat we found? Sorry, you know, about the color. You really think I care about that? She gets it. Do you want to hold him? <laughs> Could I? Of course. Your family. Here. Hmm. There you go. You're a natural. Look at you. Like a big sister. <laughs> Here, let me take it. You both should rest. Especially you. Yeah, your body just went through one of the most traumatic experiences. I'm fine. But well, somebody's got to watch you while Mama gets your beauty sleep. You never forget that smell. No newly born baby. I'm sorry. I've got to go. What about Luke? What about him? Aren't you guys... Look, Luke's a nice guy, but it's not like that. And it can't ever be like that. Oh. Well, that's it then. Well? You know, Jamie, Sarah... I'm not gonna stick around and watch it happen to you two. You know the score. You're a smart kid. I'll be okay. Sure. But give it enough time, and everyone's luck runs out. Jane, I wish Listen, you the best. When the shit hits the fan, because it always does, Remember that you can make it on your own. It's not an option for everyone. If things start heading south, don't let them drag you down with them. You don't owe them anything. That makes you feel like you do. Like it's all one happy family. Oh, and push comes to shove. I owe these people everything. They've kept me safe, looked out for me, 
I wouldn't be here without them. Well, they can't keep you safe forever. No one is safe forever. No one is, that's true. You take care of yourself. I mean that. Here. Thanks. Yeah. I, uh... I gotta go. Stay safe, Jane. You'd be asleep by now. You okay? No. I guess we all got stuff on our minds. <sighs> temperature's dropping. We're low on food. I think we gotta stay put for a while uh, for Rebecca and the baby. So I'm thinking as soon as it gets light, Jane and I should go explore, see if we can find some place to scavenge. What? Jane left. For good. What? When? Just now. Are you serious? She didn't say anything about leaving to me? What the fuck? Damn it! Well, Luke... Hey, keep it down. Sorry. I... Sorry. Just... Jane's gone. Really? Luke? Of all the childish bullshit... Childish? God damn it, Kenny, you know what, just lay off. No, you put our lives, this baby's life at risk, so you two can roll around like fucking teenagers. Look, I made a mistake, all right? No, it's not all right. Kenny's just trying to protect the group. Well, coming down on me isn't helping. Look, I'm sorry, okay? I fucked up. But you know what, Jane, she made an offer, and Jesus Christ, I needed it, okay? I mean, look around you. Okay, everything is shit. So forgive me for wanting to enjoy one moment of something else. Fine. But this baby, he's what matters now. Got it? So get your shit Honey, together. Where's my baby? Is everything all right? Everything is fine. Holy shit, what was that? We're gonna need a good place to raise him, which ain't it sounded here. like an we explosion. We head north, get to Wellington. That's our best shot. There's a town across the river. It might be safe there. Guys, I'll pause it here. I'll cut this out. All right, I'm back. Everything seems to be all right out there. I checked the hallway. I checked outside. And there doesn't seem to be any explosion going on, but it sure sounded like it. Considering how loud that was, and it literally shook the entire house. Uh, But yeah. Let's continue. At least it might be a good stop on the way. Kenny! I'm sorry. Clans and there's a, a strange point. smell right now. Town. That's why I opened the window. And not that far from here. A whole lot better than here, anyway. Looks like that's our best bet. We need to get on the road as soon as possible. We leave at first light. Whoa, whoa. What are you talking about? <laughs> Rebecca needs rest. A few days at the least. We've got that baby for him, huh? And won't help the rest of us. And what about shelter? We'll freeze out here. Kenny's right. We should leave in the morning. Rebecca is not in any condition to travel. I'll be fine. If there's a chance there's food, we have to risk it. <sighs> okay, fine, if that's what you want. Look, we should all try to get some sleep. It's been a long day. Oh yeah, he's angry with me. And Kenny is angry with me because I killed his girlfriend. Sorry. Okay, Bex. It's gonna be alright. <laughs> I guess this episode is over. Oh, it isn't.
You all right? She's exhausted. We all are. I can keep going. She looks like death. And we all know what that means. We should have stayed put. We should have stayed put until she was in better shape. She wasn't gonna get no better back there. We gotta find food. Get her someplace warm. This looked like someplace warm to you? We can still turn back. That's not an option. Everybody hang in there. We gotta keep moving if we're gonna make it to that town before nightfall. You don't even listen to anyone else. You just go on barking orders. You gotta lighten up, okay? You're pushing them too hard. I'm just doing what has to be done, like always. Luke's right. Everyone's tired. I know they are, but waiting's only gonna make things worse. You agreed with me on that last night. Uh, uh, oh. That kid got dropped on its head. Rebecca, let me take the baby. Uh, he's okay. You rest for a minute. I'll wash him. Back off, Kenny. She said she doesn't want you to take the baby. Don't be weird about it, okay? I ain't Shh. being weird about it. Yeah, you kind of have been. And not just right now. Kenny knows what he's doing. He's been a dad before. That's not the part I was concerned about. Hello? What is this? Uh-oh. Oh, Arvo. Minaslishna! Arvo? Arvo? Jane and I met him on the observation deck. Before everyone else came. That's the guy? You know this son of a bitch? Well, what's he want? He doesn't look like much. That ain't the point. Hello? Please? He has a sick sister. They might be in trouble. Hmm. All right. I'll shoot you if I have to, Arvo. Hello. Your name is Clementine, yes? Hi, Arvo. These are your friends? I'm hoping you can help me now, not like before. All of you can help. What do you need? How can we help? I need, uh, uh things for bandages. I need bandages. Are you hurt? No. Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Nikaki Arushi! Fuck! Это они? Да. Это они. Скажи им, чтобы они поставили их оружие на пол, и что вы забираем всё, что они имеют. Что ты хочешь, чтобы я взял? Откуда я знаю, что? What did your friend say? I told them you are the ones who robbed me. They think it's funny that you're just a little girl. Robbed? And they want you and your friends to put down the guns, so we can take your things. He didn't rob you. Hang on what the hell? Why get excited? Clementine. We didn't rob him. I returned the stuff. You robbed this guy? It wasn't me who took your stuff. It was Jane. It wasn't any of us. Jane. Where's the other woman? What's going on? It was two times before. Not here? I do not see a woman who was with you. She's gone. She left the group. It's a trap. I know it. They're hiding. I know that they're hiding. Hey, hey, hey! Prячутся. This can be easy for you. Arvo, tell them that they left the weapons. All of you, just put your guns down. This will be fine. If you put your guns down, we will too. I, uh, I, uh, the fuck is she saying? I am not liking this, guys. I will not let them touch that baby. You have a baby with you? When you grew up, you were a Drop that now or I'm gonna fucking Please. shoot it. I'll do you. it. No. Drop don't it. even drop try it, it motherfucker. I guarantee move. I'm a better shot than move. you are. I'll drop you both before you can play. 
Everybody be cool. This doesn't have to go hey, down like that. Don't kill Look, you don't look like stupid people, but just think about it. I don't want to have to. We can work something out. If nobody does anything stupid, Don't make me do it. Look at me. Do you hear me? I will kill you if I have to. No! Yes, a thing. It even says here, compassion. You and 52.4% of players refuse to steal from Arvo. I did not steal from Arvo. So why does he say I stole from him? You bastard. I'm gonna have to cut the credits out again. But it was true. It was so obvious that Rebecca was gonna die. I'm, I'm saving this for later.
Okay, now that the credits are over, we apparently do not get a... Actually, let me look at this. We did not get a next time on The Walking Dead thing. Which surprises me. Um... Sadly, I will have to cut those credits out, even though I must say, I think those people deserve the credit. But uh, here at the end where Rebecca died, I think it was very obvious that she would die. Even if we had stayed at the lodge, she would have, uh, or in the, uh, in the gift shop, she would have died. She wouldn't have made it. Uh, shooting her was a snap decision by me. I regret that decision. And again, sadly, I cannot go back to it because of how this definitive edition was made. Let me know in the comments down below if you would like to see me play the entire thing again at some point. Because there are some choices that I would definitely change. Right now it didn't have as much of an emotional impact on me as the rest. But I do like Kenny. I do like Kenny. Can't can't uh, deny that. And I want him to succeed. Anyhow, guys, I hope that you enjoyed this. Even though if I did flinch a few times, because, you know, pain. Um, and, of course, don't you dare not being here in the next episode. <laughs>